you guys, I'm here in Snowdonia in Bed Geller. I've got three nights alone in the wild. My confidence was shaken a little bit after the last time when my tent got flattened by the wind. But I'm back and I'm ready for a bigger and better adventure. Let's go! guys, I'm here in the Snowdon range this weekend. I planned a gorgeous circular route. We all know how plans go in the mountains though. We'll have to see what happens with it. I've really lightened my pack. I'm down to 9.6 kilos base weight. I am much lighter, lighter than I've ever been in fact for a backpacking weekend. So I feel like I can just bounce and jump around. It's great. So the route that I've planned for this weekend is the Fisherman's Walk down from Beg Geller. That's the part we're on right now. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all blue water, rocks and ferns. Great fun. So we're gonna keep heading up here until we get to a beautiful waterfall, cross a few miles of rough ground towards the lake. And then I'm hoping to make my way up Yoran on the next day. I haven't been able to find any information on the route that I want to take up Yoran. So I don't know how that's gonna go. If I can make it up there, I wanna have a camp high up somewhere, make my way around Craig Gwen and back down to Bed Gullet. So a gorgeous circular if it all comes together. Let's do it. We have come off the fisherman's walk now and head into the little waterfall. This is a really gorgeous little waterfall. Lovely, crystal clear blue water. Really pretty. I've been here with my son before, so it'd be nice to see it again. move on a bit now because we've got only three hours of daylight left at six o'clock. Sun's gonna set at nine and I'm using a trekking pole tent for the first time ever so I don't want to be messing around trying to sort that out in the dark for sure. We are out in the open again now traveling across Quimba Chan according to the map. And it's absolutely beautiful! Oh, I'm just having the best time Compared to the last trip, this is an absolute dream. <laughs> well, it's an absolute dream anyway, but you know, I'm just gonna get these next couple of miles done and uh, get some water and I will see you when I found a pitch. Mines, old mines. That might be for the copper mines. There's a lot of copper mines around here. Wondering if there's somewhere up there that's flat and out of view. Uh, trouble is getting to it for a massive rock circle. <laughs> what is that? Look at this. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Wow. I don't like that. Hold on. Try not to drop me GoPro. So that's what's up here. I don't think I want to camp near that, despite the metal railings. Ooh. Oh, look, what about that? Looks good. I found my pitch. It's amazing. Out of view from everyone else, out the wind a little bit. 
beautiful views, nice and flat. I think that'd be great. There'll be no sunset because the sun is behind that big rock and it's cloudy anyway now, but the sun will rise over there. So that'd be amazing in the morning if it's clear. All right, let's get this tent up. I mean, it's by no means perfect, but I think it'll do for tonight. That's pretty cool. Look at my little house. <laughs> I love it. This is a really light tent. I think it's 690 grams or something like that. And you use your trekking pole to put it up. I've always avoided these sort of tents before, preferring the security of like a pole tent because I've always used pole tents. But it broke last time. So I guess on this, there's nothing to break. My trekking pole is not gonna break. And even if it did by some weird fluke, I've got another one, so. It's so quiet. Like it's actually silent, it's weird. Let's have a look at the map and we'll see where we've been today and where we're going tomorrow. So I started here in Bergella and then come all the way down here. This is the Fisherman's Walk through Pass of Aberglaslin. And then I've taken a left and this is where the waterfall is. And then come all the way up here through Kumbachan. And at the moment, just here. So that's been four miles today. So tomorrow I'm gonna to come down to Lindiness. I might have a little dip in there if I'm feeling brave. And then I want to try and find a way up to Yaran. I haven't been able to find any information about this route up Yaran. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. There's no path marked on there. We'll just have to wait and see. See what happens. Need food. I remember my stove this time. So that's handy. Some noodles and jerky. That's pretty much what I've got for every meal. That's fine. I like noodles and jerky. Just having a lovely hot drink, charging some stuff. Then I'm gonna chill and go to bed. It's been such an amazing day. I feel so blessed, like it's been perfect. So tomorrow is the big day, getting up Yaran on a route I don't know. So I'll be going into unfamiliar territory tomorrow. It'll be interesting. We shall see what tomorrow holds. Good morning. didn't sleep very well because I'm having some allergy issues, couldn't breathe very well so I've taken antihistamine, hopefully sleep a bit better tonight. The condensation in here has taken a bit of getting used to. I'm really glad I bought the bivy bag, I think you need one for sure, of your sleeping bag in this kind of tent. It's drying off now, I used a sponge just to wipe over it in the morning. Thanks Martin on Facebook for recommending a little sponge, that's been really good and it's pretty much dry now. So yeah, gonna get packed up and get on. Summit's clearing now. I think it's going to be a beautiful day today. It's really warm already. Let's just have a look and see what we can see. All right, year around that we're going up today. That is that one there. 
and that peak behind that's Snowdon and just there with his head in the clouds that's Craig Gwen. So today we're gonna head down to the lake first, Lindiness, and make our way up to Yaran and then cross to Craig Gwen. I'm down at Lindiness. There's a few dog walkers around, so I didn't want to go in the lake in front of them. But I've come around the corner to the river and I'm going to have a really quick dip. Rude not to. Just little dip set me up lovely for the trip up the mountain. I'm on my way up there now. I'm at 100 meters going through this lovely woodland with bluebells, absolutely beautiful. This is unknown territory for me now, so I've never been here. It'll be map and compass going forward. All right, let's get up this. Opening out now, got a nice view, and you can see where we were camped last night just up there behind that rise. Looks really far away. And that there, that's where we're headed. Isn't it pretty? The mountain's looking amazing, the clouds are clearing. Just had a nice bit of lunch. I'm at 200 meters currently, so only 547 to go. It's gonna be a bit of a slog now, lots of uphill and carrying lots of water because it's hot, so yeah, I'll see you up there. this might be a find your own way kind of adventure. 500 meters! Getting nearer! 600 meters! Woo! Look at these views. Makes my tummy look funny. <laughs> 700 meters guys my fear of heights is really getting to me now I'm just having a sit for a minute see what I want to do I bottled it I got up there really high just over 700 meters and I started feeling like I was gonna throw up I just wanted to sit on the floor so I didn't fall over so I've come down because I'm having a really nice trip and I don't want to be doing stuff that makes me feel like that. I'm not good with heights. Just feel a lot happier now that I'm down a bit lower. I'm pushing on to Craig Wen. Weather's turning a little bit. Clouds coming in. So I'm going to do this bit now and then try and get a bit lower. Craig Wen, 587 meters. At least we've got one summit done today, even if it is a diddly one. But look, see up there. Yeah, around's in the cloud now, so I'm glad I didn't go up there. But there's been a change in the weather. It doesn't feel the same. It's windy up here. I'm gonna get down that side a little bit, find somewhere sheltered to camp, have a rest.
day. I've walked eight and a half miles today, 12 and a half total since I got here and we're camped at 350 meters. And actually we're on the opposite side of the valley to where we were last night. I can see it up there and a little bit higher. I'm ravenously hungry. My food bag's getting raided. Right, let us look at the map. So yesterday we went doo -doo 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 around here and then this morning we've come down, stopped at Lindiness, had a little swim in the river here and I've come up here through the woods, followed this round and stopped up here for lunch. And then from here, this is why I had to draw it on the map because there isn't a path there. Got to about there, <laughs> so close to the summit. I got to 700 meters, summit at 747. I've come down to Craig Wen and made a way down and I've stopped to pitch up here. And tomorrow I'm gonna make a way down. Again, it'll be pathless. And I might have a look around Big Gullet Forest, see what's going on in there. It's so amazing to just lay here with that view right there. So beautiful. I'm feeling kind of dozy, guys, so I'm going to say goodnight and I will see you tomorrow for what looks like it might be kind of a crazy weather day. It's going to be fun. Bye. this morning but it's really nice I've had such a lovely sleep I must have had eight hours last night I went to bed quite early for me about 11 and didn't wake up properly till about half seven so yeah really nice and I slept last night with the door open so I had the mesh closed but the door open and there is no condensation at all it's completely dry breakfast today is a squashed croissant chocolate coffee and some porridge I'm gonna have that and then thinking about packing up. So I've decided today to make my way down from Quay Gwen and head down into Big Gullet Forest, which looks really beautiful, and have a mosey around there. We're on our way to find a way down off this rock. If I can come down over here somewhere, there is a lake right up there, which looks really beautiful. down from Craig Wen, across the river and I'm just entering this most beautiful forest. So I'm gonna keep heading up, see if we can find this gorgeous lake. Look at that, imagine living there. It's cool, isn't it? absolutely gorgeous. We're back up at about 240 meters now at this little lake but it's really easy going, nice easy track all the way up here through the forest. What a spot for lunch. I'm all fed and I'm gonna hike on now, do a few more miles, see if we can get a bit lower down. So if we can find somewhere really nice to pitch tonight. My bag's getting really light now that the food's already going down. Proper spring in my step today.
found my beautiful pitch for the evening. I'm on the low slopes of Moilhebog, it's just up there. And you can see all the mountains all around in every direction. It's so beautiful. And I've pitched the tent so that hopefully if we get a sunrise, because that would just finish off this trip completely if we've got a sunrise, we'll be facing the right direction. So we're up at 200 meters here. It's quite windy, so we'll see how the Lanshan does in some wind, but it seems to be holding up fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit now and take in this loveliness. So I've walked just over five miles today. Most of that's been really nice going, apart from coming down Craigwen, which wasn't too bad actually, I've had a lot worse. So, so far the total miles is 17.7, and I think once I get back down to the car, we'll be looking at 18, 19 miles. All right, let's have a look at the map. So that was last night's pitch, and today I've made my way down, skirting around Craigwen, across this river, and made my way by these beautiful tracks through the forest up to this gorgeous little lake and that's really lovely up there. Came down again following tracks so that's really easy going round down to here somewhere at the moment. So that's where I camped. So tomorrow I've just got to make my way down back to where we started. And it's amazing actually the view from here because I can kind of see the whole route that I've taken starting at the Fisherman's Walk, going up King Bachan, down to Lindinas, and then up through the forest to Year Aran, Craig Wen, camping on Craig Wen, then coming back down again, crossing the river, and then up through that beautiful forest today. It's a perfect place to finish the trip. I'll see you a bit later and we'll see if we've got a sunset. I don't think I'm gonna get that sunset I was hoping for. I do think we're gonna get loads of heavy rain, which is really exciting because I love being in a tent in the rain. And the weather's been so beautiful this weekend. I feel so blessed. And it would just be perfect to finish it off with some real heavy rain. It'd be really fun. Although I had to seam seal this tent myself and I'm not sure I did a very good job of it, so we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, look, it's starting now. There's a few drops. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> So cozy down there, all the lights in the valley. It's so snug in here. I love it in the rain. I'm gonna go to bed now, guys. See you in the morning. Bye. Morning, you guys. It's sunrise. <laughs> really beautiful though. Got a nice puddle down there. The bottom of my sleeping bag is also a little bit damp. So the bivy did not entirely do its job. Yeah, it's let some water in through here. Not waterproof, unfortunately. All right guys, that's me. This has been an amazing trip. It's one of my favorites so far. I was really apprehensive about this one actually because I've had a lot of trips that have been really difficult with the weather, with gear failing, or with me breaking stuff. I was nervous about the route I'd planned because it's so off the beaten track. It's been incredible. And it just goes to show, if you can put yourself a little out of your comfort zone, embrace taking on a bit of the unknown, you can see such beautiful things. You can climb to heights that make you feel dizzy, find secret pools and immerse yourself in cool mountain water. You can sit and make a hot drink under a moon so bright that you don't need a head torch. You can stand on ridges and watch the clouds dance around you in the sunrise and walk among tall, silent trees. But maybe more importantly, you'll learn that you're so much more capable even if you don't always achieve everything you set out to do, but that's okay too. And even just for a short time, you'll be really and truly free. I'm so glad I came here. Thank you 
so much for coming along with me.